Hey everybody, it's Karen from R4 Collects. No, long time no see. How are you guys? Uh, sorry for the delay in getting a video up. I've been very busy painting, painting, painting. Um, we'll talk about that a little bit in a minute. But first I wanted to say thank you, thank you to everyone for the lovely comments. Um, not so much about me, but about Tommy, my student, in the last video. All the lovely comments. It meant the world to her and to me. Um, you know, I'm always a little nervous filming my own stuff and throwing it out there for the, the public to judge. So for a brand new student to be willing to do that was amazing. So I um, really appreciate all the lovely comments. In fact, Tommy's coming back tomorrow morning um, for another lesson. So um, I'll be excited to see her again. And then I have another student on Sunday. Maybe I'll ask her if she's willing to be filmed. So uh, yeah, thanks for that. I appreciate it. Um, let me show you the results from that last video. This one was done off camera and this was just, this one's mine, Tommy bought it. It's just a demonstration of how I do a flip and lip. So she bought it to go with hers. Hers are better than mine, wait till you see. Hers are just amazing. So this is one and because of the golden gloss pouring medium, um, that 4A12 recipe that um, we've been using, they dry glossy. Now I know this has some metallic teal in it, but it, it doesn't even need varnish. It's just so, so beautiful. So that's hers all dry, waiting for her. And then the other one is this one here, also beautiful. So way to go, Tommy, telling ya, just gorgeous. And then um, real quick, I wanted to plug my boxes. And I know I told some people on one of the forums that I would do a video and I actually started a video. And then my husband was like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm showing my multi-step process for making a box. And he was like, what? Are you crazy? Don't do that. You gotta keep things to yourself. And then I talked to some friends and some fellow artists and they all agreed like this is something I should keep to myself because I spent months perfecting the order in which things should be done so that the boxes look as professional as possible. So, <laughs> now I feel really bad now, I do, I feel bad, but um, I'm not gonna be filming that and putting it on YouTube. Um, I guess the good news is you can buy one of mine. Are you guys, you're smart, you'll figure it out. But um, the one that's currently, um, if you're not aware, uh, my Waterfall Acrylics Facebook page is where I'm auctioning them off. We are on box number three, which is this cigar box right here. This is an actual painting, it is not a print. Um, I'm gonna put one more coat of resin before I ship it off to the winning the winning bidder and because it's been stained and everything uh but there's that guy here and that's an actual painting and then i have a bunch but i think i'm only going to auction off one or two more and then take a break and then come back around the holidays but i just wanted to show a preview i think i'll put this one up i gotta put the hardware back on this guy uh i started to and <laughs> i stopped um, this is an actual painting as well. It's a little different in that I put a lip on it this time here, whereas the cigar box does not. And you are, um, I found, at the mercy of the wood, even though um, I sand it and condition it and stain it. Um, sometimes the stain is uneven. It drives me crazy. I will try my best to fix things like that. Um, the inside came out better, but at the mercy, you are at the mercy of the wood. So buy, if you're gonna do these, spend a few more bucks for the better quality boxes. There's that guy. And then this one is an actual painting as well. I love this one. Um, this one, the stain, um, took to the wood um, a bit better. Super, super pretty. So I think I'll do those two. Um, if you're interested, the auctions only run for three days. And then um, I invoice via PayPal. You pay me, I ship it to you, and that's it. And then, um, or maybe I'll do one more. And then this one is actually a print um, I did uh, on acid-free, um, really good photo paper, 
that's been resin adhered to the box in resin um, because I found the shape of it with the round um, a pour was difficult so I did a print so that's a print of one of my more popular paintings um, that's a cool box though and then they get felt on the bottom blah 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 enough of all of that <laughs> let's paint so um, what's her name Today's paint I'm going to do, painting I'm going to do a tree ring pour with cells in the middle. Uh, her last name, I'm oh, so terrible. I'll put it in the descriptions. But I'm inspired by a fellow artist. I saw this technique on the um, Australian pouring page. Perkins? Oh, I'm so sorry. I can't recall her name. It'll, I'll probably yell it out when I remember. Anyway, sh this gal did a tree ring pour. I stretched it out and then in the middle she torched it for cells and it gave a really cool effect and uh, a new over look, overall look to a tree ring pour and I haven't done a tree ring pour in a while so I thought I'd give her technique a try and uh, yeah let's get started blabbering on for six minutes that's enough that's enough okay she needs your fix that looks pretty great all right, so today's pouring medium, I'm sticking with the 4A12. So the four is four ounces of water. Eight is eight ounces of the golden color pouring medium gloss. That is the name. Someone wanted me to show them the jar, and I have a brand new one here. It's this stuff, and that's what it's called. And they really need to come up with like a snazzier name, like Golden's Pizzazz Pouring Medium or something because Golden color pouring medium gloss is just not not that exciting of a title. But this is the stuff you want. You want to see color in there because they do have golden pouring medium. And what the difference is between the two, I haven't a clue. Anyway, eight ounces of that stuff. So four ounces of water, eight ounces of the pouring medium, and 12 ounces of the Elmer's glue wall. Mix well. This is my container. I just want to get a lid on it real quick so it doesn't dry out. So I just keep them in these quarts, pop a lid on it. All right, one to one ratio, paint to PM colors. Um, I did add a little bit of water um, for my preferred consistency. And today's colors is I have a cup of gold and this is a mixture of Amsterdam light gold and deep gold which makes you know gold <laughs> so this is the gold let's stick that on the end this is a 16 inch round i have here what is this this is my blue violet yeah my amsterdam blue permanent blue violet i love that shade and then i have a cup here that is half of senlier uh venetian red number 623 and half mixed with artist loft burnt sienna the uh, professional series so those two colors mixed here they were similar one was lighter one was darker so a happy medium of that color i was looking for a burnt orange and then a cup of artist loft flow acrylic in white and black um I am, even though normally when you do a tree ring pour, you don't add silicone because we want cells in the middle today. I've gone ahead and, ahead and added silicone to my colors, my spot on treadmill silicone, which you can't see because it's gross. But I haven't done the um, this color yet because I wanted to show you the consistency because this is the thinnest of the two, um, but still leaves a bit of a of a trace before it disappears into the cup. My other ones should be ever so slightly thicker. You can tell by the, the mound takes an extra second before it disappears. But I um, accidentally added a little bit too much water to that one color, but um, it's it should be okay. I say optimistically. So this is a pretty big cup. I'm gonna add those four drops and give those a good, good stir and 
beat it in there and try to break up the line so we don't get the dreaded caterpillars. Looks pretty good. And I'm just gonna layer these in a cup and give a pour, stretch it out. What am I getting on? Crumbs all over my canvas. Stretch it out and then um, hopefully leave a little bit of paint in the middle so I can torch it and get some nice cells. That's the plan. So let me think about what color I want in the middle. I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna start with purple. And put a healthy amount in there. And then we'll do the gold. No, we'll do the burnt. No. I can't make up my mind. We'll do the gold. And then the burnt orange. So I've been painting like a fiend, like literally all week. If you're uh, on my Waterfall Acrylics Facebook page or my Instagram account, you'll see all kinds of new uh, little paintings. And that's because I took uh, Sheely Carruthers online course. If you're not familiar with Sheely, S-H-E-L-E-E, -E -E, go to Sheely Art on Instagram or she her Facebook page and check out her balloons. I consider her to be the best fluid artist probably in the world. Um, and she came out with an online course that was years in the making, a lot of time, money, effort, um, into um, coming up with her signature look and her pouring medium and her methods. And I think there's a ton of artists out there right now playing with um, her recipe, um, discovering what works, how they can apply it to her own art. And I know, I can only speak for me, I'm dying, I changed up the order and put the uh, orange in front of the gold this time. Um, dying to show you, um, but here's the thing. I I didn't want to do it and not tell you like, you know, I always tell you the pouring medium and the ratios and all that. And I didn't want to do that and keep secrets from you um, despite paying for the course. I just, out of respect for her, I just wanted to wait. So I wrote to her and asked her if it would be okay because I'm, you know me. If you if you watch my my channel for a while, you know I um don't like if I do a touch pour. I don't want it to look like a flower, so I don't want to do blooms either. So um, I wrote to her and I asked her if it would be okay if I applied her recipe um, to my own style, and I'm waiting to hear back from her. So. Uh, I don't know, maybe somebody else will, will post a video, but just out of respect for her, I want her to like recoup her money from her course and not, not post it yet. So you can see the pictures. Um, I'm just not ready to video it and put it out there for all to see. So I think most people understand that though. All right, that looks like plenty of paint. Plenty of paint. All right, let me, let me figure out, I'm gonna tilt it this way. And we'll just do a regular tree ring pour and see what happens since it has the silicone. Isn't this exciting? What else can I tell you about while I'm going in circles? Um, I'm gonna change direction. Oh, tomorrow I get to go to the um, 
Bob Ross exhibit. Let me go back the other way. That's tomorrow afternoon. I'm very excited. And I was watching a documentary on Bob Ross about how he was uh, an army sergeant, like the drill master. And he used to be the guy that got to be mean to all the recruits, which, you know, you just have such a hard time envisioning because he's so mild-mannered. But apparently he used to be quite the tough guy. And the exhibit, remember, I don't know if you remember, but I was saying like, it's in, it's in a little town called Percival, Virginia, um, at this art studio. I'm like, what's it doing there? Um, and it's because it's the daughter of the, um, person who ran his foundation. So that's how they were able to get a big collection of his paintings. And I think it's the first time in the U.S. that these are being shown or anywhere actually. Okay, I'm liking how this is coming out of the cup now. And I feel like I'm just going back and forth instead of in circles, but that's okay. I actually kind of like that. I wonder if this is enough paint. I have no idea. It doesn't seem to be moving. I'm doing circles again. I feel like I'm off course too. Let me back up, work my way to the middle. This is talking. Talk, 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 talk. I don't know, I feel like this is plenty of paint. I'm gonna stop. Should I stop? Yeah, because I can stretch out. I can stretch it out. All right, there's our giant puddle. I'm gonna throw on some gloves. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll torch the bubbles. I let the paint rest. I let my paint rest. Not terribly long, but at least like um, two hours. I like torch the paint in the cup to try and get rid of bubbles. See, I'm getting some baby cells, but that's all right. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. We'll find out. You know me. If I hate it, I'll scrape it. Oh, yeah. You goober. Why? Did you do that? Because now the cells are going to be all... This is going to be interesting, y'all. Stretching out all the cells. Sorry if you can't see anything, everything. Just give me a second, pour some of that off the edge. All right, let me stop and stare at it. Let me get the, uh, the eye of the hurricane back in the middle. Yeah, right away, I should not have torched it. I feel like there's too many rings and I should pour off the edges. So that's what I'm gonna do. And we'll get rid of some of this paint. Let me come back over this way to get rid of this giant line. Oh my gosh totally slow moving. I mean, I wanted the paint thick, but this is ridiculous. I might have overdone it. There's a giant, that would have been a caterpillar in any other style painting, I can tell. But you're gonna go die. Well, I 
hate it. Ugh, that did not work at all. That's because I torched it. And I don't know if I have enough paint to try again without torching it. Let me use that paint to slide it around and pour another circle on top. Let's use this up first and just do this. Torch. That's not enough though, so I'm gonna have to make up another cup real quick. I'll probably just make up a little cup and real quick. We'll do the purple. The gold. The burnt orange. A little bit of black. Let's go back to gold. White and the purple again, and I'll add that. I'll augment that to this and see. I'll be pouring off a lot of paint. Oh, better blend of colors though, way better. Bear with me, I'm gonna use up this whole cup. It's still coming out. All right, that stream's pretty thin. That, that's more what I wanted, that blending of color right there. Yeah, that looks better, I hope. Okay. Let's give this a little swirl now. Yeah, there we go. Now we got movement. That's way better. Uh -huh. Backtrack a second. There we go. I'm gonna bring this all down. Come on down. Oh, anyway, back to Bob Ross. There is, I think it's on YouTube. I'm pretty sure it's where I saw it. There's like a little documentary about his life. And it was pretty amazing. Because when you watch him paint on his on the YouTube channel, he's so mellow. You know, he's like the, uh, he's like the, Fred Rogers of the art world, in my opinion. All right, let me take a look at this. I think this is kind of looking cool. Way better, right? Yeah. So now the plan is to do some selective torching. Got a little weird hurricane, which hopefully will disappear. And just torch in this middle section and leave the rest of it the way it is. Let's see how this looks. Let me uh, find my torch. And I guess just, I'm gonna go up really high and just kind of go in the middle. I 
can't see if I got anything going on in the purple because it's dark. It's right in there. And I left some on the side so then I can now tilt this, hopefully. I think that's plenty um, there in the middle. And tilt this again. Um, run off like this corner, run this corner off, this one and this one. So like three, six, nine, twelve. Roll that stuff off. Hopefully this will spread. This will keep the lines and we'll have cells in the middle. <laughs> That's what I want. Execution's a whole other matter. But I'm gonna post it no matter what so I can, uh, you guys can see my face. So even if this is a fail, um, you guys can try this technique and give it a go and maybe you'll have better luck than me if I, if I can't get it. Let me bring it down. I'm just going to take off this one little part, try to keep it round, and then bring it back to the middle. See if I can get the cells to stretch out. I think my paint, here's the deal, is, um, wait, I don't like this one bit, so I'm going to backtrack a second, because off you go, little black spot, go, off you go, okay. Um, here's the deal is... Normally when I do, at least when I do um, touring pours, I like my paint to be a little thicker because your lines are more defined. And the problem with that is your cells don't grow because your paint's thick. So I think that's a, gonna be, let me bring this all back so my uh, cells keep their shape somewhat. And then come down my way. I love the colors. The colors are, are great. I'm not so sure I'm executing this as well. Maybe I just bring them in a circle too. Let me stop and stare. You know, I need to stop and stare. That's kind of interesting. I think maybe I should have chosen um, lighter colors or you know what I should have done? Lesson learned is started with um, white at the bottom of my cup and then the purple because the purple's too dark. So there's cells there. Um, but because it's like with the gold and the burnt orange, it's, it's hard to see them. Uh, I, I'm loving this though. That part worked out great. I'm going to tilt this off and, and a little bit of this. So I'm going to tilt right here and, uh, see if that helps any. I know if I torch it anymore, they're not going to grow because it's just too thick. So, uh, yeah, if you guys give it a go. You definitely want it to be slightly thinner, but not too thin because you want to keep your lines. So let me see if I can pour some of this stuff off. It looks like it'll come off. And then I'll bring it back. Take some of the white off. And then come back this way. And I'm going to take it up toward that white. A little bit take some of that white off just a little bit though I like the white at the top well, that's kind of cool not as well executed as hers and I'm actually going to stop you guys can fast forward I'm grabbing my iPad because I totally want to give this gal credit and I feel bad that I can't recall her name so I'm going to grab my iPad so I can tell you guys who it is. You can look it up and stare at hers rather than mine. So hold on. It is, let me go to Facebook. Wendy, Wendy Maiden Perkins. Wendy came up with this. Wendy Maiden, M-A-D, 
A N Perkins, P E R K I N S. Thank you, Wendy. Um, that's cool looking. I let that dry. Let me get you guys down. Hopefully, the cells um, will, you know, parts of it will darken up so you can see some of the cells better. But if I were to do this again, I would definitely start with the colors I use. I would definitely start with the white and then the purple so that you would have the white background and call up the cells and you could see the cells a little better because um, you can't really see them that well in the purple. But uh, yeah, let me get you down. Something a little different today, right? Ugh. Very fun. So yeah, that's what the middle, that's cool. And then my rings turned out really great. I'm really quite happy with them, so. That's it, very interesting little piece. And uh, how long is this? Oh, half an hour, I did good. That's it for me uh, today. The paint on me as usual. I will see you guys um, sooner. Um, I need to do a bunch of little guys. Uh, I didn't even get to tell you about the art show or anything. So um, I need to make some paintings. So I'll be filming hopefully uh, on Friday. Today's Wednesday. I'll get this up today. So uh, take care, guys. Thanks for the love and support. And uh, I'll see you soon. Promise. Take care. Bye-bye.